Hey guys, what is up? It is November 15th, the release of the PlayStation 4, and before I get into this triple unboxing, I want to apologize uh, for the lighting. I filmed this last night, uh, living in a dorm could be a little uh, complicated uh, to make these videos, but anyways, uh, we picked up PlayStations, I got an extra controller, and then a few of the launch titles, so uh, overall, I've been using it for a few hours since I made the video. And it's definitely a great system and really busy and still uh, trying to uh, work everything out. Now here's uh, what you get if you buy an extra controller. It's pretty simple. Uh, the controller, the new one, has a little touch pad that's clickable in the middle. And the triggers on the back are more like actual triggers instead of buttons. And other than that, it's pretty similar uh, to the last generation PlayStation controller. So you can see a close-up look at it right here. Now I've never actually owned my own PlayStation uh, which makes this kind of exciting. I used to have an Xbox 360 but the Xbox One really didn't appeal to me. The presentation made it sound more like a DVR and the whole point of getting the game system obviously is to play the games. So what you're probably interested in is the console itself so I'll be opening up the box right now. You get your pamphlets and it comes with one controller Obviously, if it didn't, it would be pretty terrible, uh, and we have that right here, and then uh, the pl plugs that you need to uh, give it power and HDMI cable to plug it into your actual TV. Now, you do get a little earpiece that it comes with for um, the online playing, and so you can record your voice and stuff like that, but it's not very good, and I'd recommend getting a headset if you're a hardcore gamer have a closer look at the actual console itself. Now the design looks really really nice, uh, especially lying on its side, and you see uh, in between the little slit is where you stick in the disc, and then the power button and eject buttons are sort of on the side. On the back you have uh, all your outputs uh, that you can see right here. Uh, I believe you don't get another uh, USB cable on the back, but on the front you have two and you can use those to charge your controllers. So the, char the controllers come um, where you can recharge them like that and they don't support batteries like the previous generation so that's a pretty nice improvement anyways hope you enjoyed the video I'll keep it sort of short because it doesn't have to do with iPhones or iPods if you want me to give one away make sure to hit that thumbs up and I'll consider it and I'll see you guys later